All right. So today and over the next couple, couple of weeks, I'm doing something that I think will be rather fun. When I first started going over the Real Board series, I wanted to go over games that I really, really, really wanted to go over. Games that I thought were very, very interesting. Games that I thought you would find very, very interesting. Uh, and things like that. However, I realized uh, for the past couple of weeks now, I've actually not been kind of going and doing that. I mean, I've been going over interesting games. Don't get me wrong. I've enjoyed going over uh, the older professional games. However, there is something that I've been wanting to do for a while, and I've been kind of back burnering it while I do, while I force myself to do other things. So, to that end, I decided to scrap my original plans and just start having some fun. Today, we are going to be going over not a board that looks like this, because that would be weird, but we're going to be going over these two players. Uh, up, yeah, up there and, and, and over there. Yeah, there we go. Over those two players. Now, what makes this game, what makes these two players quite so frigging special that I think it would be fun to go over them? And, well, part of that is because, in a way, you chose this game. In a way. In a way, you chose this game. This is number 10 on go for goes uh, I think it's top 50 games most popular games on their website I want to go over that list 1 through 10 and we are going to be starting at number 10 this is one of the most viewed games on go for go so I thought we would go over it and work ourselves all the way to ye old number one so the game opens up with a lovely little 4-4 four, four points taken by Black. White grabs a 4-4 four, four similarly, and then we invite all sorts of shenaniganry. We could do Orthodox, we could do Chinese, we could do whatever our heart desires. Not so much anymore. With the 3-4, can't really approach from this side anymore, so Chinese unfortunately goes out the window. The Minier Micro. Then again, I guess it's not. I guess you could if you really, really, really wanted to. Just go ahead and play this. I haven't really seen this in a very long time, though. I'm not even sure if this is an acceptable move to play just by itself. So don't quote me on that. Don't quote me on that. Instead, Black encloses, and to give you a little bit of an idea of the age of the game, this move is not played here. The move is not played directly approaching the 4-4 four, four point. It is played with the split instead. Okay, okay. Obviously, it does mean that potential... Uh, future moves for black are to push, approach, and then back off. Possibility. Will we see it? We'll have to wait and see. Instead, black jumps right into the good stuff. He's like, you know what? I'm going to approach man and I'm going to start swinging. I don't know what my opponent wants to do. That's what I want to do. Maybe get into pincers, maybe start a little bit of a fight. Calm, calm move. White is just like, I am not going to stoop to your level, sir. My stone could have been pushed from above, could have been pushed from below. What I'm going to do now, just grab a base, make sure that you can't push me however you want. That, that, my friends, is the mark of a pretty calm player. Black grabs large knight. Move like this will happily invite the 3-3. Three, three. Because you have to keep in mind, if we 3-3, three, three, and then we Hane, and then we, like, fix our Hane, 
then we are going to be damaging the outside stones, right? And it's for this reason why we can kind of get away with something like this. It leaves the invasion possible, but the invasion will directly kick this stone. It'll kick it in Sente, too, because you can't go through that variation and then defend this because you haven't extended here yet. You'll go to here, this will be kicked, you'll get your extension, but then maybe Black gets to Hane here and follow up. Right? So, this move isn't really greedy, it's just recognizing, okay, he can't really do anything to me right now, because if he does, I get to kick him right in his teeth. Awesome. Old, old school pincer. We're pincering as far away as possible. We're pincering so far away. Holy crap, man. We could even get a full base here. That right there is, a, that right there is huge. However, if we want to make something here later, we have a little bit... But if we play all the way over here, we can probably play a tighter position, maybe get a few more solid points later on. Hard to say, hard to say. We can say very little pressure is being applied to our approaching stone. That is something that we can say. So black says, I'm gonna play elsewhere. And white says, then I will get a base. Now, if we respond here, that's a gote. And then our opponent will probably go back and kick us. So Black doesn't respond to this because he wants to keep Sente. Now, he might lose his corner, but there's still room here to extend. We can still go ahead and block. It's not the end of the world as long as whatever this next move is going to do is large. So if we're not going to play up here, this next move has to be pretty big. So to that end, there are some large things on the board we can do. Does anyone know what they are? What are some large things we can do on this board? Anyone know? One easy way of finding out what the large things are is simply count lines. Count lines. For example, let's say we're tempted to play here. We're defending one, two, three lines. Maybe trying to get a few more. One, two, three. So maybe we have like six lines here with uh, with that defense. Doesn't seem good. So maybe we approach here. One, two, three, four, five, six lines. Okay. That's getting a bit larger. Anything larger than six lines. And as Luz000 zero, zero, zero just pointed out in chat, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that's eight or nine. Did I count the line twice? I don't know. But definitely the largest area on the board. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks like that's going to work fairly well in uh, trying to get the largest area on the board, right? Now you might say, well, why doesn't he try to settle here? And you could. You could settle here. But then we don't get to develop either. We get to settle, give some points to our opponent, and lose the ability to extend because we settled. So if we settle here, we have to ask ourselves, is that settle large? Was it um, vital? Did we have to do it right now? And our answer to that question lies in the stone. Remember, we can still get a base. We can still come out. We could even still go into the corner. So we have not one, not two, but three things that we could possibly do here. And as such, 
that makes settling here not uh, very large right now. So we have enough time to lay claim somewhere else. Our opponent responds. Okay. Now we've got a few ways to play here still. But by playing here, we're applying pressure to the two stones. White tries to attack. I guess he decided that he didn't want to play this variation where he's just going to maybe play here in Gote because this group is alive. He wants to be a bit more proactive. Ooh, key. Asking the question, can I go under your stone? And Black happily responds, absolutely not. Which, which is sad. It, it was asked so politely, you know? No choice now but to lean. No choice but to respond. We don't want to, on a, on a basic standpoint, we usually don't want to ignore shoulder hits or attachments. Connecting on up. Do, 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 do. Can Hane here. Seems big. All right. Question is now what do we do? We are absolutely settled over here. This area is settled. So what do we do now? What do we do now? Now that we're settled, what do we do? We have choices. We could simply say, I'm going to play at the largest area on the board now. And that would be here, right? Largest open area on the board is now this. So if we are going to simply go by the largest area on the board, we would be tempted to play here. However, there is a proverb. Two of them, in fact. Two proverbs, not just one. Don't get Not just one, there's two proverbs. Proverb one is urgent before big. And proverb two is don't play away when your house is on fire. Wait, no. I'm sorry. I'm retarded. Sorry, don't go fishing when your house is on fire. My bad. Don't go fishing when your house is on fire. So, though we could identify the large point in terms of just solid, you know, territory and stuff, the fact that this isn't, like, defended right now is more urgent than any way, than anything else. Okay? So this trumps the large things. So we're going to play, we're not going to play away. White's under attack and skedaddles. Black follows. Black can follow comfortably. Keep in mind, he's opening up cutting points here. And he's got an emergency connection here that we don't really want to play, but it exists. It's, it's good to know that it exists, but we know that we don't want to play it. But it's just good to know that you have things available to you. So we jump. And we jump. And understanding that there is a cut here is partly also how we find a move like this. 
because now there's no cut there. Don't go fishing while your fish is on fire. That implies that the lake or the river that you're on is on fire. Which here in the U.S., we do have a history of that. So once we recognize there's a problem here, we find that move right there. Black says, I counter poke. Respond. Bamboo joint. Respond. And now here's where things take a turn. Because if we just keep jumping, then our opponent could very well just keep attacking. Just over and over and over and over. And I'm just going to go ahead and say over again. Right? So Black's duty here is to find a way to f use all of this to apply pressure to something, right? That is our duty, our sacred oath that we are making to this group, that you, you sir, are not running in vain. You will do something. You will go somewhere and be somebody. So he says, I'm going to counterattack you. This thing right here is going to run with me. He is going to be my friend. Oops, my bad. Shoulder hit. This would be huge if black completed this. That is a bigly corner. Responds. Nice defense. Same thing. And we respond. All right. Asks a question. Can I please cut you off? And Black will make you a deal. You can cut me off if I can connect underneath to my group. White says, no, I don't allow that. So Black says, and you can't cut me off. Now, the interesting thing about this is we have to be careful now for White. Because this is a cutting point, right? So if black starts poking up through here, then this gets in trouble. Pushes again. Uses Sentata Cuts. And sure enough, we get what we were looking for. We got the cut on in. Forcing white to connect. Now, these stones are pretty weak. But are they the weakest? Because we have Sente now. As black, we have Sente. And we want to use our move. We want to use our next move to aid the weakest thing on the board. So the question is, is it this? Which seems like it can like get eye shape and come out. Is it this, which can't be cut through? No. This is still fine. That is still fine as well. So it's these stones. New question. Do these cutting stones serve a purpose? If they don't, then we might just get rid of them. 
and they serve a purpose. They're cutting this group, which is not alive. So, we move to settle. Diagonal at M12 says Mr. Postal. What would your move be? M12. Let me look at that. Oh, we're going to go this way? Could. It does allow for that position to be taken. And now we're kind of getting eye shape. Maybe more than eye shape. Maybe we can now live here easily later on. The simple move I like. Like, we're just going to go and connect a roof. Push, push, push. Block. Now the cut works because we can go here, here, Atari, and then those stones are dead. I would be freaking out about my G18 black group right now. What's G18? Sorry, you've got coordinates. I don't. I have to alt-tab. and. Ooh, that, yeah, that big one. But like I said, we don't really have to, right? Because we've got, like, a way to make eyes here. We can still come out, and this thing with only one, two, three, four liberties is going to attack and kill that? Nas. Nas. Instead, we're still worried about this one. So we play here. Is there Aji here now? Yes. Yes, there is. More on that later. These two stones are in trouble. Boop. Coming on out. And same as black. Coming on out. And now we're going to attack for Tartori. So we're going to profit while we're attacking. We're not going to be like, Roar, I'm going to kill you. And be like, no, you're not. I'm not going to die. And be like, Roar, I'm going to kill you. And be like, no. It's like, yes. It's like, no, seriously, no, I'm just going to surround the entire right-hand side now. Because you kept trying to kill me. How would that make any sense? How would that make any sense? That wouldn't make any sense. That would be stupid. Time limit for the game. Um, this, is, was, this was the final of a title match. I think. Yes. No, not... Eh, one second. Yes, this was the final of a title match. So I'm guessing uh, fairly nice time settings. Not a Blitz game. Not a Blitz game. Okay, so we're not playing that way. This is a good example of what you how you don't attack. You don't attack to push your opponent into your profit. Right? We don't do we don't do that kind of shenaniganery. That's that's bad. Instead, I'm gonna take some fourth line territory. Right? Taking that fourth line territory. Bazillions of hours each side. <laughs> Black says, I'm going to connect. White's like, uh, yeah, do it. Now, I confess, I know there's probably going to be a queue out there that wants to do it. Someone's eyeing this point right now. Look at the big scary man attacking your group. We gotta connect up as soon as humanly possible. Why aren't we gonna play this move? Why doesn't... Why doesn't... Why don't we play this? Doesn't the winner become Nine Don? 
Apparently not. This was played in 2006. This is final one of the match. But neither are nine done, so I don't know what to tell you. Oh, I think after this, he became... <gasps> ah. Spoilers. Anyway. Yeah, we can still run out. Those of you who want to play here... Too scared. You must... Be fearless. You must look at the board objectively and not... Not like a scaredy cat. Ask yourself what's really happening here. Is... Are you really in danger here? Are you really? Because... These two stones aren't connected now, right? So why would we be scared? And give our opponent God knows what. When instead, we can just be like, you know, I think you're bluffing. You're not attacking me. I'm attacking you. And so white says, a touch. And black says, no. You are the one who is frightened. I am not scared. Cuts off the middle group. Defends the one stone. Likewise. See how different the board looks when you don't just... When your first knee-jerk response isn't just to defend. It's like, look look for Aji. Like, are, are you really being applied pressure to? Or can you just kind of, like, turn it back on the jerk who's attacking you? Because let me tell you, one way to put a bully in his place... Just punch him right in the nose. Now... I confess... You may get a beatdown. But will probably leave you alone after that, right? I mean, 90% of the time. Assuming they don't kill you, I, he'll leave you alone after that. I'm sorry. Or she. So we're applying a lot of pressure to the group. Looking for forcing moves. Questionable advice with bats? You're welcome. Looking for the forcing moves. Just making sure we have enough shape here to live. We're going to try not to play here if we can avoid it. Like, this is the move that we don't want to play. So we're asking ourselves right now, can we get away with not playing here? That's the question. So it looks like we have some shape here now, right? And we have like potential cuttings later on. Um, get this right, yeah. So black continues to attack. Not gonna say this is the this is the most amazing game in the history of the ever. But it certainly has a lot in terms of direction, weak versus strong, how to handle fights, all of that good stuff. I'd say it's worthy of being probably on someone's list. A lot of learn from this game, you know? I like games where you can just like learn a ton from them. Getting in those forcing moves. Now, here's a test. Here's a wonderful test. 
here is a wonderful, wonderful test for you. White's next move is not to play here. This is not White's next move. Where does White play next? And why doesn't he play here? Hmm. Hmm. Why isn't White playing there? What is White's next move? What is... What is going on here, I wonder? Hmm. Yes. Yes. What is, what is wrong here? I will go ahead and say that Morganol is absolutely wrong. Anyone know? If you're looking at this board, counterattack stones, middle group, middle group is dying. Yeah, the middle group is dying, isn't it? But can you see? Can you see how white doesn't die in the middle? I'll give you a hint. This next move saves him. Saves him in one move. Anyone know what that move is going to be? Anyone know where this move is going to be? It's somewhere. Now, I will confess, I was having a tremendous amount of fun with you all just now, because when I kept asking where this next move is, I was having my shadow point to the answer the entire time. Yeah, we can cut straight through to this, because we're very, very strong on the side. We can't really Atari, because it leads into an Atari into a Connect. So yes, one move, and we're okay. So we go here now, and white says, dead. Black follows up, trying to hurt the side, and the side's now pretty hurt. White retreats into the corner for safety. He's going to his safe space. Try and live in the corner. We're getting some forcing moves now. Always play them forcing moves. Let's see how long I take to ruin this. Ah, we're fine. So he attacked, but he didn't go crazy attacking the middle. He attacked and he profited. That right now is what I like to see. He attacked for profit. He didn't attack to murder this group. Even lost two stones without group being alive. But he stands to get more. Stands to get more. White pushes, and I like that he gets rid of the Aji there. Like, Black's just like, you know what? I'm not going to let you do anything here ever. Extending. Extending. Do, 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 do. Don't mind me. I'm just extending. Yeah, black is doing... I hit that somehow at some point. Sorry about that. Black did get a lot on the right. Black did go around. Like, look at this. Like, Are you going to ever reduce this? Are you ever reducing this area? And did white get a... Uh, a similar area. 
Does white have an area similar to this on the board? Got the two stones, got the corner, got a corner over here, but black has one over here. This game is confusing. This game is simple. This game is utter simplicity. I like this game. It is so simple. So simple. White tries to take a huge corner, but is this move sente? Well, this area is about as strong as it's ever going to be. So we don't really have to respond there, do we? Right? You don't really have to do that. So what are we going to do? What are we going to do? It's obvious, isn't it? It's extraordinarily obvious. We're just going to go in the corner. Invade the 3-3. Three, three. Ask if this real estate is up for sale. White responds. Honey. Now the problem with here is if we play the tiger's mouth, we can kill it. There's a strong enough area here where you can play this variation. And then throw in. Black descends, we hane, black replies, we extend. Black extends, we extend. Black tries to cut. We've got a safe stone over here to protect us. And we're good. We can, we can hold this. We can hold this. So instead of that, he asks, can I do something different? And he says, no, I'm going to kill that too. Okay. We had to ask. It was a question worth asking. Could we go into the middle? No Aji to speak of here. Can I pretty please live on the side of the board? Have to kill, otherwise alive. Can I pretty please live on the side of the board? Looks like we finally found some Aji shaking loose. Get to connect on back up. Play the Atari. as white struggles to not lose all of his territory. I mean, look at that. If black lives here, where is white's territory? You see how desperate white is right now? All of black, white's territory right now is over in that corner over yonder. So we play here. And we connect and not Atari. Otherwise, this is Sente. If we play this one, oops, sorry, bump the bump stones. If we play this one, then this whole group is screwed. So you can see how large of a difference that is. Here, we're actually going to be able to, we don't have to Atari the stone. We can connect and threaten. Now, it does mean white can play here right now and cut us off from these stones but we don't really care because then we cut and then slaughter this so he's forced to connect get wrecked complete and utter reduction Welcome to Slaughtersville. 
White has nothing in this game anymore. White has two corners. White's got that corner, and White's got that corner. Have to try and kill it. Now, at this point, I, I admit, I would be like, you know what? I don't care if he cuts through there. I'm just going to like play something like that into this just to be alive. That's probably what I would do. Something like that. Just to be alive. Um, take this off too. Uh, he's like, ah, we, we, yeah, whatever. I don't care. Whatever. It's gonna be. Uh, it's gonna be okay. Completely cut off. Now we're making them shapes. Are we dead? Are we dead? Are we dead, chat? What do you think? Are we dead? Probably not, right? Because now we can play here. It's pretty big. Pretty big. We uh, got them threats going along. Right? To cut through again. Cut off this. Cut off that. Or we can just play here and live. So we're alive. Right? Because we can go play here. And we can go and play here. I think. Yes. So we're alive. So White's like, well, that ain't gonna work. Uh, plan B. Take away everything. That ain't gonna work. Da, 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 da. Don't mind me, I'm just flailing. Don't mind me, I'm just flailing. Now, even if we live here, the sheer amount of territory that black has in comparison to white is a little bit staggering. So even though perhaps this will live, it ultimately doesn't really matter now, does it? Kept our lovely corner. Got in a, got in a cut, that's good. Cutting things is nice. Cutting things is great. Maybe push through here. Second line's good. I like second line. Second line's nice and connecty. Now we're gonna try to go back and live here. But we're undercut, so it doesn't really work. So we're gonna throw in and see if things over here work. But we can't connect. Can't connect that up. We're gonna try and maximize our space and we can like turn there or something. But that's not gonna work. White turns, but we just throw in to kill it. And then that's pretty much the end of the game. Little bit more flailing around. Little bit more flailing around. And game's over. Can't live. Sadly, we are dead. Thus, Black wins the game. And thus, we have number 10 at Go4Go's most viewed games of the site's history. This is happily sitting in at number 10. Now, don't be sad for white. There was a lot to learn here. There was an, a lot to learn here. We got to learn a nice prime basic example of urgent 
before big. That was really good. We got to see a nice example of what to do in running battles, how we don't connect up just because we might be scared, how we can look for the counterattacks. That's really great. We got to look at how to put pressure on two groups at once to profit rather than just trying to kill one group. That was nice and amazing. And to cap off the festivities, we saw an amazingly heartbreaking invasion that led to a connection of epic proportions. So thanks to both players for playing this game. There's a lot in it that was definitely worth looking at. I, for one, am a fan. I, for one, am absolutely a fan of this little game. Continuing on with number nine is a game we have here between Yi Sidol and Cheng Hao. Now, as you might imagine, Lee Sidol is, is kind of a name that might be popping up more than once on uh, the uh, top 10 list. We start off. That would have been awkward. Close that game. How do I reopen it? Sorry about that. Oh, freak. Just closed both games. One moment. There we go. So we start off with the 4-4. Lee does not take the upper left. He instead diagonals, saying we are not going into a cross variation today. Black takes 3-4, as does white. Now we have potential here again. We could go into approach into micro or mini as a possibility. We could do away with all of them and go on the attack. Instead, we do orthodox. A little bit boring, but that's OK. And once again, the, the uh, date of the game shows through, not by approaching, but by splitting. So 9 and 10, very similar in that regard. Black approaches, and white says, I want my territory, sir. So we play simple Jisaki here. But instead of finishing the sequence and then getting a base, Black says, I'm going to go for a little bit more and see if maybe I can't be a little greedy. Just a little. After all, what are the odds that my opponent's actually going to pincer me, huh? No, no, no. My opponent's going to play here. I'm then going to play something like this. My opponent's going to play there. And then I'm going to finish the sequence. Right? Eh, not so much. You said all the size that we're going to go attacking. We're going to go hunting. So now what do we do? We have a lot of choices. A lot of choices. We could jump out and then go like all in on uh, attacking that one stone. But Cheng Hao says, you know what? I'm not that violent of a person. I'm changing me directions. White follows up. Offers white the option. You can go here, you can go here, do whatever you want. I don't care. White drops down. Now, a lot of players would look at this and say, this is wrong. You don't build walls to nowhere, you stupid noob. I need to give Lee lessons. That's all there is to it. Lee still needs lessons. 
I mean, look what he just did. He just built a wall to nowhere. He's building a wall to nowhere in Gote. Isn't that weird? Isn't that a little strange? That's a big corner. And if we respond to it, maybe he drops down and then like backs off. Hmm. Why did uh why why did we do this? Why did uh why do we do this? What what what's the idea behind this? Anyone know? Let's look at the alternative. Let's look at the alternative, shall we? To find out more about the decision behind why White played as he did. If we play here, the other option is to is to connect, right? Or to split, sorry, and then black connects. Now that stone's not dead yet, so I guess we need to add another one. And now it looks like we added a lot of stones to kill something. Hmm. Seems like it's a lot of points to give up our corner in a way that black can still profit and expand while only killing one stone. Alright, so we don't play this move then, obviously. But then if we don't play this move... Then I'm not really sure what we get here. So this this seems really really awkward, right? Th doesn't this sequence seem very awkward to you? Too awkward. Seems like it gives black the world, and white doesn't seem to be getting very much in return. So we can kind of understand why we didn't play that way, and why he's blocking this way, and why simply adhering to proverbs could be dangerous. Uh, whose turn was it? I don't know. Whites? Eh, who cares? You saw it played correctly the first time. You don't need to say it played correctly twice in a row. I think this is actually the correct way, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I have a stone extra in my hand. Why do I have a free stone in my hand? Oh, because whites move. Got it! Sweet. So now we can understand the reasoning behind this by looking at the alternatives. Now we're not going to play here like I mentioned. Instead we're going to play here. We can maybe profit off of this area. Even if we get cut here, we can still kind of grow the center by controlling this stone. Right? Black takes a large point, because if white gets a point here, then he's looking pretty styling. Got to like get some profit here, got to expand out over here. Maybe we still get to expand out over here or here. We're taking all the cool points this game if that happens. So black plays. White attacks. Black backs off, putting pressure on the one stone. There we go. And now we have an attack. Exactly what White wants to use his influence for. He wants to use his influence to attack something, and this way he was able to do so. However, 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 we aren't going to play here. Can anyone tell me why we are not going to play the one-point jump? There are other moves that we can play. Anyone have any idea what these other moves might be? And why aren't we playing here? 
There must be a good reason for it. There must be an amazing reason not to play that move. But what is it? What is it? If you are looking at this and you're saying to yourself, well, I think we're not going to play because it is slow. You are right. It is kind of slow, isn't it? It lets your opponent still get a base here. Let's your opponent come out. Let's your opponent hit. Let's your opponent poke if that's what he really wants to do. Can do a lot there. Can do a lot there. Instead, we can play a little bit more aggressively. Now, to be completely honest, even if white can live here, we don't really mind. Because what that would do is that would give us a more solid wall. Prim maybe even in Sente. White comes out. Suddenly black has two space extend. White has to defend. And diagonal out to maintain pressure on here. And this is becoming a really huge move. So we're not going to play aggressively to come out again. Because that's a small knight, and small knights can be cut. So we're going to play here, keeping that well in mind. Same thing, we're not playing a move like this, because... Small knights can be cut. We're not playing here because pokes are annoying. Instead, we're just going to diagonal out nice and easy. We're getting followed. I think the no life police are on our tail. We have to ditch them. Quick, someone find life. I feel like that seems to be okay. If we respond here, we can play here, and then Atari can Hane here, we're still out. So rather than keep playing against this group, we attack for profit. And here is profit. This is also profit, because profit. Profit, you can quite literally put your hand in. You can go and grasp it. Which is why, rather than simply jumping out and letting your opponent like attack you here and follow you here, he's going to just say no to his opponent taking half the frigging board. Remember, kids, friends don't let friends take half the board for themselves. So we fight. In the name of profit. Black is starting to settle. And then rather than attack maybe on the outside to see if we can profit or something, like he eh, eh, and then maybe into eh. Eh, eh. Because white is an aggressive player. So alright, we're gonna go and save our stone. Ah, we don't play twice. Gonna go ahead and connect. Um, yes, we are. Again, I almost tried to play twice. Don't know why I keep trying to do that. It's kind of weird. Going down. Getting the Hane played. We're almost alive. What do you think? Is this at all useful? Is this, at, is this at all useful? Can white even live here? 
Doesn't this just seem kind of stupid? What's White trying to accomplish? Can anyone read it? If you said that White can Atari, you'd be correct. And then if you said that White could Atari, you'd be correct again, but we're not going to. We're going to play here first. And this is where reading takes place. Reading and lots of confidence in what you're reading. Because we get denied that. We have two liberties, though. Two liberties. So now we go back and cut. But you can see the problem now, can't you? Because right now, we have a white potential cut here. We have white potentially coming out here. And the ability to connect up over here. And over here. We have got a stupid amount of things going on on this board right now. And black is very carefully going along. While white dances and tries to get as much as possible. He got the cut in because of the turn here. That seems like it's not the end of the world. Black takes care of his own. Looks like white's profited a little bit. Black takes. And we have the connect. So we got the three stones and we got to live. All right. Gote, though. Follow up our attack. White's going to extend. And now we're under severe attack again. Because you can see here, where are we going to go? Looks like we're going to be um, working against these stones, making them stronger, trying to save our two stones over here. So we're trying to live. White's just, black's just like, I'm just going to surround you. Very, very calm move, not even caring. It's like, I'm just going to get, I, I want strong on the outside, that's all I want. Tari. Going to come on out. Looks like black's in trouble here, but... We've got the cut and the push still. So for now, we're fine. Hello, Salila. We are going over number nine on the top ten most viewed games on Gof Ergo. What happened? Black just extended? White just extended? Yes, he did. Okay. So, question is, do we have to respond to that? If he pushes again, Hane's Atari's, we can Atari and take the stone. So, Black says that's mine. Push again. Looks like we're not even completely surrounded here yet. Looks like we have things that we can do. Sorry, maximizing liberties. My bad, almost forgot.
Once again, pushing. Threatening to kill off the three. And connect. Hold up. Oh well, who cares. Sorry, he pushed here once more. My bad. And now you push here again. And white plays the Hane. We go ahead and cut. These stones are now off the board. Ah, and I messed up too many while doing this. Good enough. And we've now profited. I think at this point, Black should be fairly happy with how the game has gone so far. He's lost a couple of stones, White's lost a couple of stones, but the corners are pretty big, plus we've got potential from them, right? We can easily expand. Now the question is, can white play here now and take it away from black? Can we do this? What do you think? Can we play here now? We really want to play here. I mean, imagine, for the love of God, imagine white being, or black being able to take that stupid stone. Can we play here instead, please? Pretty please? Maybe even here, be very aggressive? What do you think? Are we good? Can we do it? Getting something to drink. Now, if you said that no, we absolutely cannot, I would say that you're right. But do you know why we absolutely cannot? If you said we can't play this move, because this would die, then congratulations. You did not forget what all was being fought for. You did not forget what was being fought for. Congratulations. So we cannot play this move. We have to play this one to connect. White or black can't play here because we just have the me I push which means holy crap black gets a big old move ooh that's a big one the amount of potential for black is uh well quite massive really quite massive indeed We cannot let this go to our opponent. It's too big. So, Lee Seidol has to invade. It's time to get our invade on. Now, we're weak here. We're weak here still. We've got, like, weak points here. We haven't taken this yet. So, no going underneath. Asks, can I, like, do something here? Looks like the answer to that is no. Can I run away? Oh, the answer to that is yes. I, I can run away. Good. I can run away. I, I'll run. Here we go. We're running. Poking at the cutting points. Looking for the forcing moves, because we've got the Ataris now. Threatening to make some shape here, so we're backing off. We're not going to Atari, because Atari begets Atari. 
And then from there, we've got like things like this, we've got things like this, things like this. We have much easier shape after that move, right? So we're not playing there, we're playing here to keep maximum pressure. Connected because as a whole, we must protect our whole. Wow. Okay. Um, um, <laughs> One second. Mm. I'm okay. Shut up. Shut up, GG Patty. Shut up. Did not say that. Uh. <laughs> From the Saint Oh God. Uh, what was I saying? All right. So, right. Yes, we have to. Uh, we're we're connecting. We're connecting here. Because we're still looking for life. We're still looking for life, and there's Aji. If we if we Hana here, there's the cuts, right? So there's like a lot of free stuff in here. Which is why Black actually spends a move playing here. If we just like YOLO'd elsewhere, we have to read something like this. We'd have to read something like this. Like, what do we do here? Do we Atari? We have to read something like this. What now? Do we take? If so, we have to read something like that. Do we fill? I mean, Jesus Christ. Now what? Thank you for the follow. I want to say Dur Seb. I'm not sure that's an E or an O. I'm too far from my monitor. But you can see, like, just how much freaking... Uh, Aji is here. I mean, we can protect this way now, I guess. This cut is now active. We've got tons of sli of uh, forcing moves to get all this wonderful shape. So if you were trying to play, like, boom, I'm attacking you. Like, whatever. Then you let all of this come to pass. And then you feel bad about yourself. That is the value of that move. This one right here. Not slow by any means. White gets to connect. And defend. Gonna go ahead and poke at that. And because it's going to get a free response. Why not? It's just free Aji, right? Before going back and ending in Gote. Now we've got... Oops. Now we've got this for territory. Not bad. We've got some stones captured. Mm, not... Not as spectacular because we got the three... We got five stones there. Four stones there. Mm, five, four, one, five. Okay, there we go. That's a little bit better. This isn't connected, which is sad. But maybe we've got some of this, which is good. So it looks like we're still doing uh, not, not too bad, right? Not too bad. Gonna go ahead and ruin our hopes and dreams over there. As the Siddle tries to keep people low. And Black says, no, you shall not pass. Instantly have to protect the shape. Black connects. Forcing move. 
Whenever you see things like that, you can think to yourself, was that a time, Suji? Yeah, probably was. Probably spent a lot of time trying to read this out and see what happens. Like, what do we do? We can't do this because the Atari connect Atari means that's dead. Uh, we could do things like this. I mean, it saves our stone, but it forces a connection, so that's kind of weird. We could keep trying to attack everything, but I don't know. I mean, it's got that, and then we'll get this. It's got some eye shape. Instead, he goes here, activates the cutting point. Can I kill your stone? No, you cannot kill my stone. Can I kill these stones? No, you cannot kill these stones. Can I kill them now? No. How about now? Whoops. Nope. Still can't kill the stones. Alright, then I'm going to connect. Notice those were forcing moves. Notice those were forcing moves. And the reason behind those forcing moves kind of has to deal with the cutting points there. We can't take this because Atari into Atari means the stone's dead. So we're kind of just like really putting pressure on this. Which is why black will go ahead and cut a single stone over here to take care of himself. And now we're dealing with quite the battle. Because if we connect here, then we can Atari and connect. Now, we have a double Atari after that, but after we take and connect, we can push through, and then white just collapses. So we can't actually play here. We can't play that connection. <coughs> we have to defend. But that's okay. Black will as well. Can I kill two stones? Nope. Okay, then I'm going to connect this up. Can I kill two stones? Nope. Well, screw you. If I can't kill two stones, I'm going to connect. Says white. So it was a little bit back and forth here. A little bit back and forth here, right? Like, this was available, but then that would get cut off. And then when that was no longer available, that could get cut off. And when that was no longer available, we went back and defended. But we took care of all of those forcing things first, before ending in Gote. So now, we need to find out where is the next largest play on the board. Where are we going to play? our next move as black. What's large here? What is large? This looks connected. This looks alive. This looks connected. Looks like the largest thing now is what happens to these stones. So black backs off. Don't give up your stone. Now we're threatening to connect. We'll probably Hane that. Yes. Before coming on out, like so. Threaten to Hane through and capture. Not going to allow it. 
Light says you've got no choice. I'm coming after you. Standing on out. I like this move. This move is so is so uh, solid, right? Because if we don't play it and we see a move like this, that's danger. That's about to connect everything up and kill off these cutting stones. So this takes a moment to defend. Say no new points for you. But the consequence of that is is it's pretty big. It's pretty big. The consequence of keeping your profit, in case you haven't noticed, it's this white group right here. Where is our shape with this whole bloody group? You catch that as it was developing? Because we got the cut in, because we got to pull back and poke and come out. It looks like White's under a little bit of an attack right now. Someone is trying to kill Isidol. And um, in case you're not aware, Isidol doesn't like being killed. It's not what he goes for. Um, white cuts, try to isolate this group. Black has to defend it once, twice, and then we continue our attack on White's group. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, 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 uh -oh. SpaghettiOs. I want to take a moment for you to fully appreciate what's going on. If you're a Q player, if you're a Q player, you might be looking at this board and thinking, okay, yeah, let, let's just see if White can live now, right? That's, that's the biggest thing on the board. But let me tell you a secret. This is not the only weak group on the board right now. Have you noticed that this is not completely alive yet? Have you noticed that? Have you noticed that's not completely alive yet either? Just something to, you know, kind of kind of be aware of. There's not just one weak group on this board. There's one group, two group, maybe three, and then perhaps four. This is an interesting game. First things first, Ask the question, can I, for the love of God, be okay here? Answer. Yes, because we either connect or we cut. <sighs> One problem down. Black solidifies. Now we have one and two. Two weak groups. Which one's larger? This one's larger. So that's the one that we're going to play on. Black says, okay. Then these stones are mine. And thus we continue along. Thank you for the follow. Black defends. Now there's Aji here, so Black isn't going to risk 
everything vanishing. Black isn't going to risk everything vanishing just because he wants to try to kill something. That'd be crazy. It's like, alright, I'm going to defend myself. Prophet, I am strong. White says, okay, you're not keep attacking me. I'm going to make a base. Or, uh, yeah, some more eye shape. Eye shape here. Eye shape here. Looks like we're fine. Then we get to go back and connect. And connect. So that was a very interesting uh, little upset that we had potentially there. With everything kind of being weak and kind of going at each other in the center. Uh, all at the same time. Now, unfortunately, with that taken out of the picture, now it just kind of gets back to boring old endgame. And little monkey jumps. I miss White's move. Oh. Bring back to life. Forcing move. Tries to keep his profit. Tries to come out instead. Keep in mind, this group, if it has enough liberties, isn't really a, isn't really a problem, right? Because Black has to constantly reread this Aji. Because this means we have to play here. Immediately we have to play here. Because we can't be like, doot, doot, and then dead. Right? I'm gonna go ahead and lock him on out of there. Which gives us the turn. Don't have to worry about the weird pushing cuts anymore. But that's weird, right? Because with this saved... With that saved, that's a lot, isn't it? White's got a nice corner. It's got some extra territory. Black's got a nice corner. And that's about it. Just about, uh, just this. Just this. So at this turn, we are now completely safe. As a result of now being completely safe, white, little bit ahead. And so black resigns the game. <laughs>